Hello YouTube, it's February 15, 2018, and here we are again with another subject of the day on some controversy. <sighs> Y'all know I don't really like doing these political videos, but it needs to be done. Hopefully I can add a little comedic twist in it by daring on doing this. This is going to be my profile picture, y'all. Now, I may have darn gone started the darn on Bonnet Chronicles before Tammy Roman, but Tammy Roman was the originator of the darn on EBT card and had to check. She was the first hoe on TV with a darn gone old black darn on sewing hairdo that had to educate the girls on what a food stamp card was. And darn on bougie ass Jennifer still darn on get. <laughs> Even with the apology, she come up there with some darn on stamps from 1972 back when they used to give them out with the darn on coupon slips. No, when Tammy was on food stamps, they was like this. Except back in the 90s, they used to have the little, um, on this side, they used to have the little eagle. You remember back when the cards used to actually feel like a credit card? And, they, and the, the numbers used to be like a credit card, too. And they used to have the emblem. And it made you look feel like you can darn on um, pass it off. Hundred of those was the years. Back when you could slide that food stamp card and nobody didn't know it was a food stamp card because it looked like a credit card. But now they just make it known now, honey. They even darn on yelling, shh, don't be telling my stuff. Hundred of those were the days I wish this card was active. I don't mind saying that this girl used to darn on be on stamps a damn self and quiet as a kept. I'm not in the tax bracket where I'm proud to say I'm not on them. Shit, I still need me a good seafood bundle. But let me get into these motherfucking hoes, including Funky Dineva, on being uneducated on food stamps or whatever. Because now, speaking of seafood bundle, I find it mighty convenient people want to be hypocritical on this darn on topic. It's like, uh, I I'm going to need you to pick a team. It's like either you want to read people for fear for buying, and I'm more inclined to darn on read people for fear on darn on spending $400 alone on snacks and cookies. And trust me, I've seen somebody who did this too, and she was not a black woman. She was not black, so it's not just darn on. You want to call out queeters and all of them, but I know a non-black woman who would darn on buy $400 worth of snacks and stuff, and her three children and them be eaten up within a week. A week they darn gonna be ate the whole shit up. I'm like, how in the hell do you go through four hundred dollars worth of cookies and snacks and creams and pizzas and all of this shit and just gluttony? You just darn going most you ain't even finished drinking one soda, you chain drinking. You like you heard of a chain smoker, these bitches are chain drinking. You still got a little sip in the darn on a uh, thing, and you darn on popping another thing a Mountain Dew. No one went through a, a darn on twenty four pack within two days. Now this was a family of darn on six or whatever, but it was the four of them that darn on. Yeah, it was the four of them that darn on ate up this stuff. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then my cousin wasn't no better, honey. My cousin was the black equivalent. She was now I will say this about her. Now both of these women, one black, one non black. She was um native and my other sister, Native American. And they would cook meals and stuff. But it's like y'all spent over half y'all stamps and then y'all be darn on trying to stretch out the remaining two weeks, but both y'all bitches get nine hundred some dollars in food stamps and here I am over here homeless. Now my ass is motherfucking homeless. When I got my food stamps back. Because I got my food stamps when I was in school. And I switched over from veterinary medicine to business law to darn on business marketing. I was in school and got my food stamps. Darn on, then I got out. And then I was, y'all know the story with my mother. I told y'all when I was reading Funky Dineva for Phil. I got out the hospital. And, I, you know, medical condition and all of that. I had to be on food stamps again. Got back in school for beauty school. So, it was up until like last year I had my darn on stamps. So, with that being said, I, I, I just don't get this right here. I done lost my train of thought. Why did I bring up my whole history with food stamps? To go ahead and darn on talk about the fact that I had only $200 that got decreased to like 113 because when I started working, even when I started working and earning income, 
I still didn't make a darn on enough money. So this goes into the uneducatedness about people on food on the uh, talking about seafood bonus and shit. The average person cannot buy no seafood bonus. One darn on one darn on lobster costs twenty dollars, and a bitch darn on only gets one hundred thirteen dollars in food stamps. Y'all need to stop making up these lies. The people who are buying the seafood bundles and shit are the two women that I told you that darn on got nine hundred some dollars in stamps and to do that shit. The average single person like myself, who was homeless, who had who not was not dealing with not one but two medical conditions, bitch, I was not buying seafood like that. Even though that's the only meat I can darn on con, uh, consume like that, because people don't even take in consideration that in one of my conditions is Crohn's disease. I cannot digest red meats like that. I had to give up eating steak. I have not had steak in well over um six years. Um, I never ate ham, hogs, pig feet, neck bones, so I didn't miss that. But I did. I had to give up bacon. I can't darn on consume milk. I used to be a huge fan of drinking a milk. I go through a gallon. I haven't had milk in over six years. So while everybody is applauding this darn on prepackaged food that Trump is trying to do. What does this do about people like me? Think about people like me who were homeless and are going to have a medical condition where you have to be very strict of what you can eat. I can't have darn on can't because in this darn on prepackaged thing, it's not just going to be all sorts of perishables. Anyway, it's not going to come out well because if the darn on box is full of um, um, fresh fruits and vegetables and shit, you think that's good in theory. But why would it be good to have a, a, a abundance of darn on fruits and vegetables all at one time? Just think about that. The average fruits and vegetables can only hold for about a week. Well, you can put it in your refrigerator. Once again, a bitch is homeless. Now, how's this darn on pre box thing of fresh and fruits and vegetables is going to go in the summertime? With people who are homeless and don't got nowhere to darn on put the stuff. Including darn on veterans. But your darn on president so called loves the darn on veterans and stuff. But you still got veterans on food stamps. You, you care to explain that one? Where, where are they going to put those tomatoes and fresh collets and all of that? In the hot sun. In the Carolinas. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina if y'all didn't place this darn on accent. See, that's what people didn't think about. And then from the picture that I saw, it seems more like junk food than anything. So it's not going to be perishable. But then you got to think about this. Now, y'all was just talking about darn on people buying up food stamps with the junks and stacks, which, like I said, I was inclined to agree. But now you got Trump who's darn on going to make them in pre-boxes, which will have to consist of mostly junk food because it's impossible to make an uh, abundance of food um, imperishables because it's totally inconsiderate to the homeless and people who cannot store that amount of fruits. Even if you are in a home, if you got a regular 18 cubic feet darn on refrigerator, you can't store no hundred dollars in stuff worth of fruits and vegetables and shit like that. Like, come on now. How's darn going? Ain't it even Gwyneth Patra? Her fancy ass called herself trying to darn on get people to be completely vegan and on food stamps. And she couldn't even do it. She tried to darn on get the fruits and vegetables. And she did the shit herself and realized that a darn on dinner with her high, uh, hostility ass. So y'all talking about people buying lobsters and shit. This bitch was buying organic fruits and vegetables and spent $60 just on one night of meal. Now, the average bitch who only get about $200 in food stamps, you know you got to stretch darn on meats and stuff out and have leftovers. So, why you darn on talking about people buying ragu and stuff? Honey, they get that ragu and they get that darn on hamburger for $10. Honey, they'll stretch that shit out for three, four days. Honey, make a big old pot. Get some of that, that darn on Tom's tomato paste. Get you some tomato. I don't. Like like I said, my darn old sister, I love her, but she's full-blown Native American. And when I stayed with her, honey, you can tell, yeah, you, you got that white ancestry in you, honey, because you don't know nothing about darn on no soul food. Honey, not even darn on, I love her, I do. She ain't had to take me in. 
We still close to this day. But honey, that darn old spaghetti, she know it was just as watery. Just as watery. I said, oh, Lord, bless her heart. She don't know nothing about no damn tomato paste. You know black folks, we got to put some tomato paste in there so the darn old sauce, the darn old stick. But once again, now all these people who ain't never darn on gone through this shit is making decisions based off of darn on people who suffer the most. And then you have some of our own people who are just above make of, of food stamps who are in a tax bracket, which you, you really still suffer. I mean, you're not too far removed to be talking darn on shit. You make $2,000 a month, you still under the poverty line of $2,200. $2,200 is the federal poverty level. So just because you don't make food um, uh, qualify for food stamps, you ought not to be talking if you're not making more than $2,200 a month. Now, as far as people who are such as Funky Dineva who making darn on uh, $2,000 in a video, bitch, if you still got a habit which allows you to darn on dodge paying people they $5,000 in back rent, and then you owe several other people, and you can't even darn on keep your darn on payments up. You can't even stay in the house for but three months because your darn on alleged crack habit. I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up as well. See, everybody want to talk about what somebody else is doing, but you don't want to clean up your own shit. Now, going into the economics. Now, this bitch supposed to have a degree in economics, right? Now, this is the one career field. I done told y'all I was going to get back into her ass. Now, this is the one career field that this bitch supposed to be a, a expert, uh, a expertise in. Every single video she's dropping that, oh, I got a degree in economics and all this. Well, you should know that this is an economics-based issue. So how come you are so oblivious to know that, not know that black people only make up 13% of the population? And then only a certain amount of that group of people are on food stamps. So just because it's prevalent in your neighborhood that you have black women like Queen and them buying, like I said, I got people in my family who darn on did that shit too. But I'm not dumb enough. And I don't need my background in history with a concentration of minority studies since you want the name drop darn on education, bitch. But we don't need no background and no history to realize that if we only make up 13% and only a subset of that 13% is on the benefits, that obviously that would not represent the majority of people on food stamps, first and foremost. Number two, not darn on missing over the services. But you, but you supposed to be the bitch with darn on um, degree in economics. Like I said, darn on crack is a hell of a drug. Crack is motherfucking whack. And just look at darn on funky Dineva. Every time you are darn on tempted to darn on try that. Okay. Now every time anybody wants to darn on think about trying what crack look like. Just go and look at what funky Dineva and her darn on diminished darn on brain capacity is. And you would know to stay away from drugs. Because this bitch supposed to have a degree in economics and not realize black people only make up 13%. She supposed to have a degree in economics, but this bitch don't realize that darn going black people on food stamps actually been decreasing based off of federal um, bureau um, investigation statistics for the past five years. While, whereas white people who always made up the majority on food stamps, their number actually, I think, increased. What black people, we've been on a decrease as far as government assisted programs. But you still want to judge everybody on uh, seafood dinners based off of people surrounded in your whole neighborhood. You're supposed to have a degree in economics, but you're not smart enough to know that you cannot generalize the whole darn on nation of people who are on a certain group of services based off of the people that are only primitive to being around you. The darn gon' established crackhead trying to pretend to be a darn gon' white woman, but you darn gon' can't hold a house for three months and can't darn gon' keep your bills paid. Girl, you need to darn gon' sit down and shut the hell all the way the fuck up. You just make it so easy for people to read you. Now, I see why darn gon' certain YouTubers just darn gon' have a field day making free YouTube money off of your motherfucking ass because you make it so goddamn easy. You just make the reads just easy for you. Then nobody even asked you of your darn on opinion. 
And then, like I said, you would think that this would be the one valid point that this hoe would ever make, considering that she always dropping that she has a degree in economics, and she couldn't even get this shit right. Because, like I said, contrary to popular belief, darn on black people are not buying seafood in bundles like that. And then for the people who are, we're not buying it in that excessive amount. You don't take in consideration people who have Crohn's disease who cannot darn on consume red beef because red beef is, is confirmed to darn on be the number one cause of inflammation as, as far as all meats. So you're jealous when somebody has seafood in their darn on bag. So if I was on my stamp still and I had a darn on um, some shrimp and oysters in my cart as opposed to hamburger, you be quick to roll your eyes and you talk about you want to be darn on taping me on the phone and you don't even know my motherfucking story. You don't know that with my Crohn's disease, I can't process regular beef. You don't know that people with dermatitis cannot just eat all kinds of peanut butter. So uh, uh, who is this darn on prepackaged darn on box really going to be good for? And then contrary to, once again, dropping another darn on inaccurate um, generalization, talking about people on food stamps are lazy. Guess what? The majority of people on food stamps are actually in the working poor. And once again, that is also been confirmed by the Federal Bureau of uh, um, Investigations of 2016. You supposed to be an established darn on so-called blogger and journalist, but you, you, you don't even darn on practice in your field enough and darn gonna do your proper research. This is not even my career field. I got a background in darn going being a licensed esthetician. I, my background is in business darn on marketing. I didn't even finish my law school degree. I didn't even go and finish my degree in law school. I can't even keep this camera up. But you supposed to be so established, yet you that you can you need a refresher course in your economics. And you darn gonna supposed to be a journalist, but you don't even darn gonna do your fact checking first. All these so called journalists who darn on going off of generalizations and darn on alternative facts and darn on imaginary stories from John Murray, darn on saying Monique was paid $3 million, but you ain't showed one shred of evidence. And now you got a TV show out of the deal off of talking about a black woman. And now Funky Dineva, I guess you trying to darn on play the playbook too. Why trying to pretend to be a white woman, emulating darn on stereotypes of black women. If that wasn't a read that Michelle gave you on that darn on um, live stream, honey. I don't know what the fuck is. But I want to know y'all thoughts on this. What are y'all thinks um y'all thoughts on um Trump trying to darn on make it so people who are currently still on food stamps are gonna get prepackaged foods? Because like I said, I would imagine this would be difficult no matter how you would do it. Because once again, you have fresh foods. How's that gonna how's that gonna work with the homeless? How's that gonna work with your veterans that you always bring up only as a political talking point, but you still ain't darn on done nothing towards darn on fighting homeless veterans, let alone homeless people, period, in America. We both be the darn on most established um place in America, yet even your veterans who heard, have fought hard and um and defended the country, you always bring up their names when you talk about somebody not kneeling for a darn old flag. Honey, I kneel for the darn old soldier who defended me, not the motherfucking flag that ain't did shit that did not even include me. You want me to kneel for a darn old flag, but you ain't in darn old kneeling to help out the darn old soldier on the motherfucking street. So people like Donald Trump, Darn gonna piss me off. And people like Funky Dineva who are really coons who darn on are just just co sign this type of rhetoric. It, it just gets under my skin. But I still wanna know y'all thoughts on this. On people like Funky Dineva, who supposed to have a degree in economics, who is highly uneducated. Who clearly I don't see how the bitch got the even got that darn on degree. She must have uh, her darn on instructors must have been crack addicts they sells down in Florida. Honey, she she is born and raised in Florida, and y'all know my girl Lovely T talks about the zombies and stuff on bath salts. We've seen some of the most established people 
darn gonna be looking like the walking dead in Florida. So I think wherever Funky Dineva got her degree at, she was bribing her darn on teachers with some darn on crack rock during break time to get that darn on degree. Because for her to darn gonna have a degree in economics and not know that black people only make up 13% is appalling. To know that white people are the dominant people on food stamps. And to know not to generalize a whole darn on group of people based off of the darn on minority. So why would you punish the majority off of the minority? If you know that the majority of people on food stamps are considered in the working poor who work one or two jobs, who work over 40 hours a week and still qualify for darn on food stamps, you can make up to $14 an hour in North Carolina. And darn on, if you're making under 40 hours, you still qualify for food stamps. The world largest employer, Walmart, everybody uh, uh, buy in that bitch qualifies for food stamps if you're making under $14 an hour. The only way you're making over $14 an hour in Walmart in North Carolina is if you're working in darn going um, factory or somewhere. Distribution. So don't go telling me, well, my Walmart pays $15 an hour and then I say, where you at? Oh, you in New York. You in California. Well, I'm talking about overall in the South. North Carolina, the average Walmart employee makes anywhere from $10 to $11 an hour. But once again, leave y'all thoughts down below. Let's get this discussion popping. Y'all tell me y'all thoughts on darn on people like Funky Dineva. Y'all tell me y'all thoughts on the Trump tarts, this darn on food stamps program. And also, give me y'all thoughts on these Republicans always bringing up darn on the veterans. But don't do nothing for the veterans. Because like I said, you talking about kneeling for a flag. I don't. Why not kneel and help your fellow veteran? Why not help a veteran who is... I, I kneel and going to give a veteran 5 or $10 on the street and anything that they need out the store. I'm not kneeling for a darn on flag that darn on who the person said they didn't want niggas included in the motherfucking shit. So y'all go ahead and forward this shit to Tommy Lauren and why y'all at it as well. Y'all give me y'all thoughts on that and I'll see y'all soon. Mwah.